You know when a company puts X at the end of a product name that it's gonna be really awesome, I guess. Anyway, we got 64 RGB colorful pressure and velocity sensitive pads that have polyphonic aftertouch. Lots of words there. Dynamic note and scale modes, four custom modes for triggering all your sounds, tons of software is included, and it seamlessly integrates with Ableton Live. You get pro features at the mini price. Enter Launchpad X. If you're looking to make music with something that has 64 buttons, a grid controller, Novation definitely has you covered. Now, if you don't wanna to spend too much money, but you want the best features that you can possibly get for that money, this, by no means, by all means, <laughs> is the best option. E-U-M-O-N-I-K, music maker, creator, peace to those that know the name. The grid controller is kind of this strange amalgamation of new technology and old school technology. You have 64 pads available to you, so it totally changes your perspective. They didn't have the technology to make a launch pad back when Beethoven was composing. This was <laughs> right here hiding under the desk. The most understandable way to lay out music in the easiest way possible to someone for someone to play it, you know? Now we have this, the Launchpad. And why is the Launchpad X specifically so awesome as far as it comes to grid controllers for people that are trying to get into it? And that's because the price point, first off, in the features. So if you're using Ableton Live, which is bundled with it, that's like a live intro version or live light. You have eight tracks. I did a video on how you can make music just using eight tracks. So although that's a limitation, don't let it stop you from making music. The Ableton integration just makes it easy to launch clips when you're in scene view, which is an Abletonism. You can go search that up on your own time, but drums and banjo, two of my favorite things right here. You notice the different colors? Let me stop those. So you have these different setups like right here, Ableton and also Launchpad knows what track you're selected on. And as you can see right here, it's just these pads that have sounds. That's why there's a yellow light on them. Then you can even customize the modes that you have. I made one that's orange and stuff like that, but I like using this one because you can put an instrument on here and you can play it like in many different ways. It's amazing. Let's take a piano sound. That seems like a good comparison from what used to be and now what is available with things like MIDI and controllers and launch pads, all that good stuff and those type of concepts. So here is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven octaves with one hand. That's crazy. Now, right here we have a major scale. And that's what is going to play right here. You can also change the way that the notes show up or how many fingers, I guess, you need to play with it. So if I keep it on a scale instead of playing it chromatic, so we'll stick to the minor scale, you can have it play like this like we did before, but you could change it to two. So you just play it with two fingers. The whole scale is right here. As you can see, they light up green for indicating that it's the same note. Three fingers. Four. And five. So between the different layouts and the perspective changing capabilities that come with the launch pad, not to mention the fact that you have RGB velocity and pressure sensitive pads that have polyphonic aftertouch and full integration with Ableton Live for under $200 if you're going to buy a non-piano keyboard MIDI controller and you want a grid controller, this, in my opinion, is the one to get. That's why I still haven't. I haven't upgraded. There's a Pro, but I don't need a Pro because I'm already Pro with my Launchpad X.
Who would have thought that 64 buttons that can change colors would be so awesome and so musical? Really cool. As always, I appreciate you being here for the first time or once again. I am Mnemonic. On this channel, I make videos about the products, processes, performances, and my perspective as a music maker and creator. All the links down below help support me in some capacity, all of which is greatly appreciated, including the link to a Launchpad X. They're still like under $200. It's fantastic. Like this video for me, subscribe, you made it this far, and if I missed something or if you got something to say, comment down below. I need to go make more videos. Speaking of which, there's a great selection right here for you, a la carte. You can choose whichever one you want. God bless.